Believe it or not, there is a drawer in my house that is not organized. Don't tell anybody. Okay, this stays here. I this even has deodorant stains on it. <laughs> hey guys, it's Ro. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to my closet. I have some organizational tips and tricks. So if you are an organizational girly, you like to get organized, you might like some of the things that you see today, get some ideas, get some creativity flowing. Or if you are a fellow shorty, because I am four foot ten, so a bunch of the clothes in my closet and brands that I'm wearing that are short friendly like petite friendly so if you're a shorty who likes to be organized this video is for you honey bun agrees if you hear snorting those are the Frenchies but if you're a tolly um come hang out with us anyways also side note I'm holding my microphone because this outfit was really noisy with this cute little corset and stuff and the ribbons it was all just like rubbing and so I'm gonna be holding it like a microphone. Well, let's start on the island. This is in the middle of the room. I like to keep it pretty open and clean so I can throw stuff on here and throw outfits together and see what I have going on. But here I just have my perfumes right here on this cute little gold tray. A lot of the accents and hardware in the room are like this brass gold color. So I got this to complement it. This little organizational thing. I keep some candles in here and I got this when I was working with the Property Brothers and Drew Scott when they helped kind of design the house. And the, oh, the, this is my baby hat, which I meant to put away, but I forgot. But this is the little pink baby hat that I wore when I came home from the hospital. And it is the one little piece of clothing I kept. For Papa Color, I wanted to do some really bright pink flowers. I found these right down the street, actually, at a furniture company that's like a staging company, but you can buy a bunch of the pieces. Then for purse organization, I actually use the kitchen storage bins from my home organizational line. I do use them in the kitchen, in the pantry for like treats and snacks, but I also use them all over my house. I use them in the office. I stack them underneath every sink in the house for toiletries. And now I use them in my closet for purse storage because this closet is so big and beautiful, but as as a shorty, the only storage for the purses are these high shelves up here. And when I'm on the go and stuff, I, I just can't easily grab, a, you know, a handbag and go out to an appointment. So I really wanted to have something that was right here, more at like hand level, <laughs> reaching level, that I could easily grab, you know, a purse and go. This is like my everyday purse. Mike got this one for me in Hawaii. It's really sweet. I really love to have fun with purses. I get some that are like campy. I have one that looks like a lamp. This is a gift from my friend Franco. Look at this, it's a little cupcake. This is so cute. And then this one is like all fluffy and fuzzy. It's got all these like ostrich feathers. I carry it like this where it goes on like a ring, which kind of reminds me of Alexander McQueen. A lot of those purses that are designed have like the four knuckle holds and then have some classics and basics that will last a lifetime. They go with anything. Oh, they're so cute. And I really love these because they're clear, they're see-through, so I can really easily like see into each one. And if you guys are interested in these bins, I'll put a link down below, but they are on Amazon. They're all over the place. They're in the UK, Canada, and just depending on where you get them, you can get different lids. I love the pop of wood in here. It brought in some warmth because the floors in here are wood. And then this was like this beautiful light wood and I thought it tied in really well together. I love this island. It has a bunch of drawers built into it on both sides. So I'm gonna show you inside a bunch of these drawers and I have the coolest organizer. Let me, let me show you. So I use these to organize inside some of my drawers and these are not from my line, but they are iDesign. I love iDesign. I have so many products from them. These are expandable drawer organizers and they come in different sizes. So depending on what your drawer size is and it can go boop, 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 and then here it tightens. That's how it locks into place. They come in different heights, which I love. So if you have like a more shallow drawer or you have a deeper drawer, they have different sizes. And what I love, they're really easy to use. So I basically use these on a ton of my drawers. And then with other drawers, I use inserts. So I'll show you both of them in the island. On the top drawers, that's where I keep like my jewelry and sunglasses. For the jewelry, I just got these soft, fuzzy, shallow bins. I think I got them on Amazon. 
on, but I just throw a bunch of my earrings and little stuff in here that's on all the top shelves. And then right underneath, here's my undies drawer, guys. These, I've used three of them. These are the deeper ones. So I've just organized it with hand bras, black bras, and then thongs. Oh, you guys, stringies, these are so cool. These like have invisible straps, so if you're ever wearing an outfit where you need something like very sheer, stringies, they're amazing. Also for stickies, I hate all of them, but this brand. This brand I love because it's seamless. It's amazing. And then I just basically use these dividers in every drawer. Like for this drawer, I don't have that many socks, or I have little socks. So I do like socks here, and then like kind of like lingerie, like sleepwear here. Over here I have pajamas and stuff. And then on this side, I do workout gear. And I use those dividers, you can see up here. Mostly all of my workout stuff is pop flex, as my girlfriend Cassie's company. I have some other pieces that are really petite friendly, which I'm a big fan of. With the workout gear, if you're a shorty like me, I love to get a matching set in a small size, but here's the trick. When you get pants, get the ones that are a three quarter length, cause then you don't have to hem them. And then even down here, this is where I keep my short workout sets. Oh my gosh, like, are you kidding me? Look at this top. Is it summer yet? Look outside, it's pouring down rain, it's freezing, and my poor dog is in a puffer coat cause she shivers when she goes outside to take a pee. And she gets out there and she goes, Ooh. oh my gosh, if anybody likes these jackets, they're so cute, I love them. It's from Canadian Pooch. They sew the harness right on top of the jacket. And they have a little clip in the back so you could just take them on a walk. Oh, you're so cute, honey bun. Thanks for all the comments about honey bun and wishing her well. She's she's doing so good, she's having such a good recovery. She's walking around now, standing on her own. I'm just so proud of her. She got all of her stitches out. You can hardly even see the scar. The doctor did such an amazing job, it's really cool. Oh, this is inside out. I just said I got organized. And then look what I've done. There's all Over on this side of the closet. Oh wait, I've got a little doggy wants to come in. Who could it be? Who is, oh, it's Henry. Okay, that's my sister's dog. All of this storage of the closet was built in when I moved in. My clothing style is basically put together in a dress, like kind of more formal or cocktail, and then sweats. So now I'm trying to find a happy in between, like something casual that you'd wear in between those two modes. So these are all of the cute little like cocktail pretty, some are daytime dresses, some are evening dresses. And a really good way to make your closet look elevated, look organized, is to get all matching hangers. Before, I mostly had the black velvet hangers, but sporadically, I don't know, just like over time, I started to get, like for example, this is what was going on. So I ended up getting these. If you guys are interested in these, I link them down below. I love these hangers, because the ones with the velvet, they're just grippy. They hold onto your clothes really well. And I love these little notches right here, because they'll hold straps or like tank tops. And then I love the top, because it was this like gold brassy color, which matched all the hardware. And then up top, I organized by using these storage bins. I found all of these at Container Store, and I love them because in the front, you can label them, like you can write whatever is in there. You just do it with a little piece of paper. It comes with paper that is cut out to the size of it, and then I also just take a gold permanent pen to match, again, all the hardware in here, and then I just label them. And that's basically how I've organized this side of the closet. The stuff that I'm grabbing all the time is down here. So these are all the shoes. If I need a heel or a tennis shoe or a boot. Most of the shoes that I have and have collected over the years are from Nordstrom because they carry so many size fours. They have extended sizes of shoes running small and big because Nordstrom started as a shoe company. So they have a lot of special relationships with brands where they will make really small shoes or really large shoes like size 19 shoes for guys and size fours, woo, sometimes threes for the short so if you also have small feet, Nordstrom is the biggest advice I can give you. Nordstrom or Nordstrom Rack. I think it's their in-house brand, the BP brand. They release a couple size fours every year and I try to scoop them up. I feel like I'm a shoe hunter. Nordstrom will also team up with more like fancy designers to release some size fours and I try to scoop up the classics, the ones that I can wear with multiple outfits. So like Saint Laurent, they release these beautiful like platform shoes in a bone color in a size four and these fit me perfectly. They also release 
these black ones and they have silver ones. With most of the shoes, I got them from a California company that had a select amount of size fours. So I bought a bunch of them. I'm like crawling over here. And then for different projects, I reuse them and I paint them. Like these were hand painted to match like different outfits or dresses or I'll even send them to my friends over at the shoe bakery. And they will take these shoes and make them look like a cake or a little piece of pie or like an ice cream cream cone. Jessica Simpson has the cutest shoes and pumps. I'm obsessed with them and once in a while they will make a size 4 and I'm like, I scoop them up and keep them forever. I love them. I will admit, these these are kids slippers. These are so cute. It's barefoot dreams. But look, I got them because they match, alright? I got them in the dark color and then the light color because look, they have sets. These little lounge sets. These are the kid size but they just fit perfectly. Sorry, if you hear snoring, it's just the dogs. Honey bun, what do you think of my newly organized closet? She loves it. Then here I have a bunch of tennis shoes. These again, I got them at Nordstrom Rack. These are the brand BP. They're super comfortable. I have some Vans and some Chucks. These are actually um, from ASOS. I love ASOS because that not only do they have petite clothes, but they also have a button for size four shoes. So I really like ASOS. Lastly for shoes, here on the end are my boots. I removed the two glass shelves and I've started using different shapewear for them. So I originally bought these years ago. I've had these for so many years. I don't want to be wasteful, so I wait until they pop. I'm now replacing them with this cool thing. I found this on Amazon. It was super affordable. I'll try to put a link to it, but I can find it. It's basically a thick, piece of plastic. It's really thick and you can just fold it like that and then boop, place it right into your shoe. So that's this side of the closet. Let me take you to the other side. Sound check. <laughs> On the other side of the island, it also has all these drawers built in. There's a ton of storage, which I love. And on this side, I use the drawer bins. From my home organizational line with iDesign, and let me show you into a few drawers. First one here at the top, these are the shorter drawers and they fit perfectly with these. They come in a set and I'll put a link down below if you're interested in getting these. These are amazing. So here I just have a bunch of accessories. We have all these like brooches. They're super cute. Flowers I wear in my hair for the Hawaii Food and Wine Festival. Fans. This little bin has all of like 1920s flapper girl little accessories. Friends have a lot of themed parties so I am ready to party at a moment's notice. But anyways yeah there's a bunch of those things here. I also have my vampire teeth just in case you ever need them. They're here. And then underneath these three drawers are designated for the dogs. I've used these bins to organize all of their collars and bows, extra poo bag or a bowl for a walk. And then here we have like sweaters and toys and little rain boots. Some of the drawers don't have any drawer organizers because the stuff in them just didn't fit and it doesn't matter what size I customize it to it's just not quite right so like this drawer is for headbands there's little horns and kitty ears and reindeer and this one is Molly and I made this years ago it's a little like sushi we dressed up as food but what I really love doing is like when I hem an outfit a dress or a skirt taking the extra material and sewing it onto a headband so you can have a full matching set it just feels very Italian to have a whole matching set like the top the pants and like a scarfed headband and that's what I did with one of the outfits I actually I had some extra material it was so pretty I have a top and pants to this my mom helped me do the edging she sews really well you just take this little scarf and watch this so cool. I have all these different plain colored headbands. Wrap it around and then your whole outfit would be matching head to toe. Okay, so here's my sewing kit. If you're a shorty, get yourself a sewing kit. So in here I have a bunch of different threads, needles, super stick toupee tape. It's double sided and it is the stickiest. Fashion tape. This is a joke. This does not work. So for headbands, if I don't want to sew it, I'll just tape it on here and then place it and it won't come off until I rip it off. <gasps> Ooh, okay, let's look into this last top drawer because there is a shorty necessity in this drawer. I've also got the bins in here. These ones are the white ones, and whether you get the clear ones or the white ones, they're both made from 100% recycled plastic water bottles, so both green, and they're both food safe, BPA free, 
all of that. They'll just come in different colors. And depending on whatever distributor, if it's Amazon or Container Store, or you're in UK or Canada, they also come in different colors. So this is my belt drawer and phone accessory drawer. And in here, I just kept some of my favorite classic belts that I absolutely love. Just some standards and some custom ones. Like this one was on my cookbook cover, baking all year round. This was a custom beaded one that a stylist who I worked with made for me. And it's just so beautiful. And it's literally sewn onto a ribbon. But here it is. This is what shorties need. Oh wait, okay, I lied. There's two things. One thing, boom pliers. I know this sounds silly, but when you're short, a lot of things that you get just don't fit you. Necklaces, like if the chain is just way too long, you can usually, with a pair of little pliers, take it off, measure it to be the right size, and then reconnect it. So I love these pliers. I also use them for, oh, let me get my phone. Let me show you. I wanted this cute phone chain. It was like down to my knees, so I needed to shorten this. So I used the pliers to open these metal links, then I cut off the ones I didn't need and then I just pinched it back together even for this little piece of leather black string and a needle and I just sewed the leather together and then in this bin if you're a shorty this is a leather hole puncher it is a must I know it sounds so weird but it has saved me so many times for like belts for like purse straps you can just punch a hole boom right into the leather and then make it Fit. It's just so great. I think the most expensive thing that I ever leather hole punched was uh, a handbag. When I asked the store if they could do it, they was like this. This is their reaction. <gasps> no. <laughs> On my shoulder before, it was down to here. It was like this. This is not it. It needs to be up here. Kind of by my hips. That's where it should be hanging out. It worked out great. I regret nothing. The rest of these drawers are just things that I don't wear every day. Hats, swimsuits, some little sweat sets, and a couple dresses. They're heavy, so I don't hang them up. This thing is so heavy, so I leave it laying down. And then on this side of the closet, I hang up all of my cute little matching sets together here. And all of these pants I wear if I have a little bit of a heel on or a little slight platform. Regular pants that fit me with just like sneakers are in this top drawer. Over here, it's a mix of skirts and shorts. And then underneath, I have more shorts and pants. Some brands that I've been really loving. If you are a shorty, Abercrombie blew my mind last year. I was never really really a big Abercrombie fan. I wasn't really into it, but they release sizes that are really inclusive, curvy and regular. They also have a tall and there's a short and guess what? They have an X short. It fits off the rack, no alterations. They fit perfectly. Before then, I had gotten most of my jeans from Topshop. Topshop Petite has really nice jeans. A few over here. These, I get so many compliments with these. This is a great pair. Madewell has a petite section. These kind of like business slacks. These are from Abercrombie. 23 short. These fit me with the slightest heel, no alterations. <gasps> Another brand that I have been loving and I just found it like a couple years ago was Aritzia. I had never shopped there. I just knew that they sold beautiful, like high quality basics. I did not know that some of their brands run a little small. So it's not technically a petite store, but a bunch of the brands run small. So all the bodysuits that I wear in a bunch of our videos, those are from Aritzia. This is a double X small and it's really thick. It's high quality and they have these beautiful like satin matching pants. Love, 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 love. And then here are a bunch of matching sweat sets. For sweats, I like to wear a whole bunch of different kinds of brands. Super Down is a brand I found on Revolve and Super Down runs a little small. So again, it's not like a petite brand, but it does run a little small. I actually wore this on the hide and seek video with Mr. Beast. So maybe this one we donate. Um, <laughs> another brand I like is Lovers and Friends. They do make beautiful, cute, romantic dresses, but they also make sweaters and sweat sets. And then um, Aerie, oh, I love them. Not everything they make is in a petite size, but they do have petite things. This is a double X small petite. It fits me perfectly. I did not have to alter this. Those are my bling sweats. Bling, bling. These are Cassie's line and I love them because they're thick, they're high quality, and they have these gorgeous strings. They add a little pop of glam to something really casual. Okay, so after the pants, how I've organized the closet is here I've hung up bodysuits that I wear really frequently a lot and sweaters and tops that I wear a lot. And then underneath are more tops. So the 
first drawer has, oh, I don't even think I organized this. Oh yeah, this is on my to-do list, guys. Avert your eyes. Believe it or not, there is a drawer in my house that is not organized. Don't tell anybody. Okay, this stays here. I, this even has deodorant stains on it. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay, I'll wash that. Let's, okay. So this top drawer is like tube tops, tank tops, and t-shirts. I love to go on ASOS or actually J. Crew Perfect Fit XX Small is just one of the best fitting high quality t-shirts. I've had this for years. I've washed it so many times and it still looks brand new. Like this is a really well made high quality shirt. I love fashion, but in general, I don't have a ton of designer clothing because they just don't fit me. So I really just look for brands that fit petites very well. Oh, go okay, there's a second drawer. Oh gosh. Okay, so this drawer is long sleeve shirts that are unorganized. <laughs> But again, a bunch of these long sleeve shirts that I love are from Aritzia and they're just great. They fit so well. Oh, who are you? Oh, is this a turtleneck or what is it called? A mock neck. It's A and F collection, but you know, it's like because Abercrombie and Fitch, but soft AF collection. <laughs> Kind of a perfect name. Another brand that I have some luck with if you're a shorty is Garage. I think it's a Canadian based brand, but they do have stores in the US and you can purchase online. I fit the double X malls over there perfectly and usually never have to alter. Oh geez, these three. Okay, I missed three drawers here. Let's just ignore these. These are just sweatshirts and hoodies and we'll move on to the jacket. Cool. Welcome to Coat Corner. Well, it's not just coats. We've got coats, sweaters, and some jackets. And then I kept two vests, which <laughs> I don't even know if these fit me still. I just I assume they do. My most precious item in my entire closet. This jean jacket was my dad's jean jacket. This is something my mom gave me because I loved wearing his jacket. Still kind of smells like my dad a little bit and it even has some like oil or like grease because he would always work on the cars outside and I've washed it but I didn't even want to but that's permanent and I'm gonna keep it. A really good friend of mine, Franco, who sews and alters things professionally, he helped me sew it to fit me better. It's still oversized on me, but it's him. It's my dad's jacket. Oh. <laughs> that reach was tough, and that's why, as a shorty, another essential, a ladder or a step stool. I've had this ladder since my first house, so I've had it for over 10 years, and I love it. It's clear, and it can fold together, go against the wall. I just keep it in this little nook because there's space for it and it's really out of the way. And I needed a little bit more hanging storage. So what I did is I really love the clear brass aesthetic look. I might've gotten this hook from Pottery Barn. And then I think, oh, oh, oh! Okay, I'm my hit. Sorry. And then I got these hooks from Anthropology, which are kind of the same idea. They are brass and clear. And I'm not quite done in this corner, but my goal is, let me show you, like a hanger to hang a couple hats here. Because I got a couple cowboy hats. Because right now it's sharing with my bathrobe. Oh, let me show you these jobbers. So this is a fun organizational trick. Let me show you. So if you wanna save space in your closet, it is on the hanger, you fold the pants on the bottom, you hang your shirt over, and then you can hang up your matching outfit like that. Or I found these, they came in a huge box on Amazon. You hang your top and then boom, your matching set. This was a great, love it. Oh, are you okay, Hanny? Is he okay, honey bun? Okay, we're okay. All right, back to it. Again, same as under here, how I have sweaters and jackets. That's the same that's in these drawers. So I've got like sweaters and, oh, more sweaters. This one is Zara. So I still do wear some kids' sweaters from Zara. I am not a clothes expert, but I would love to be. That style. Is like Fair Isle, Fair Isle, Fair. Okay, somebody has to know what I'm talking about. Please let me know in the comments what I'm saying. Oh, and this one you got? Oh my god, it's so oversized. This was from ASOS. It was a petite, oversized, and I love it. It's like I'm hanging out in a blanket. And then these drawers over here, I actually reserve for more like travel stuff. For example, I have like 
packing bags for clothes. And then I take bags whenever I get like little backpacks and stuff and I save the bags that they come in, like the protective bags as laundry, you know, for your dirty laundry when you're traveling. And then I have some really odd little knickknacks for traveling. Your cell phone chargers. And this is so I don't have to unplug the one on my nightstand. Whenever I travel, I lose it. I have little air tags for luggage when you're checking them in. So if they ever lose your luggage, you can literally find your luggage yourself. And here I have some travel masks, earplugs in here, and then have you guys ever seen these? I have, I have, these are emergency pee bags, but there also could be an emergency barf bag. And Mike gets really bad motion sickness, so look, if you get sick, bleh, right there, okay? Catches it, right? And it also is sealable. So, like, you go potty and then you can seal it. Look at this, guys, and girls could use it. I always bring one of these, because I don't know if Mike's gonna get motion sick, or if, you know, I'm, like, I have a little bladder, and when it's full, like, I gotta go. Now I have options. <laughs> The travel stuff continues. I've been on the hunt for a makeup case forever and I've been trying different ones. I like this one because I can stick a lot of stuff in here like hairspray bottles and palettes. It's not quite there. There's something missing. I also tried these towel pack. So many things I love about them, but I'm just on the hunt for the perfect thing. I think this one has too many pockets for me. And then this is a travel hair dryer, but it has all the attachments for every different country. It's mini, it's small size, so this is international hair dryer. Last drawer, but not least, is my miscellaneous drawer. Now this drawer is a hot mess and a half. I save the little scraps from whenever I alter clothes to color match. For example, like this came from this dress, and then I mailed a clip of this over to our friends at the shoe bakery, and they made a custom shoe. The paint colors match completely. I haven't done shoes for this outfit yet. This one's a cute one. So these are like the scraps from my dad's jacket. We're almost done with the tour, and again, on this side of the room, all the upper cabinets have all the same bins on the other side as they do this side. Okay, you wanna hear something weird? The weirdest thing in my closet is not actually travel pee bag. The weirdest thing in my closet is Cookie. Now, if you know who Cookie is, you know. So, right up here, and I used to keep it on my island, but I didn't want to scare people, so I like literally, I put it in a basket. I don't know what she would have wanted, so I'm gonna figure it out, guys, but until then, she's up there in the bin labeled Cookie. <laughs> and she's having a great time. You guys have pretty much seen the entire closet. This is the last side of the closet that you haven't seen. This is the one rack in the whole closet that's made for longer garments. So this is where I hang my longer coats and jackets here and my longer dresses, gowns, and just pieces that are a little bit longer. And I color coded them as best I could. And I also put kind of like really formal gowns and dresses together over here and then these ones are kind of like summer beach more casual dresses and another brand that I really love if you are short Reformation they have regular sizes and petite sizes and their petite sizes are amazing they're high quality they're feminine I love the cut of them and all of them usually have this great like little bit of stretch like this is in the back if you're active if you're moving around it's really flexible and it gives you that so you can just be active but still look super cute they have been amazing and no alterations this is reformation a petite a size zero i bought it off the rack and it fits perfectly it fits like a glove you guys the little slit they do really cute matching sets i'm gonna pull one to show you guys real quick the linen set that i wore in joey's video reformation petite so cute and comfortable oh these cute overalls, these are from Garage. Love these. Oh, it makes me wanna go do a DIY project. And then down here, I keep some of the custom cake heels that we've designed for different shows. I keep a few of them here and then I keep a few more in storage up in top in one of the bins. These ones like were made to match this dress because it has little sparkly cherries. And as you can see, see, I didn't send a color match. I just sent a picture. See, and this is why you want to save those little scraps of fabric to mail them in because look, they're just slightly off, but nobody noticed, so it's okay. But now that I've just pointed it out, just ignore that. These shoes, I sent in a fabric swatch and I love what they did. They did them to match this dress when I was on the show Baketopia. And they did like the cake icing to be these colors. And then we did the little roses to match the roses on the dress. 
It's fashion meets food, food meets fashion, and it's all the things I love right here. And then above this section for storage is kind of some summertime stuff. I have like my summer beach bag that my girlfriend gave me. This is my carry-on bag. I have matching luggage with this. I use this on any set I go to. It's like my day bag. And then I got some sun hats, pool towels, and my big disco ball. I have disco balls now all around the house. I don't know how many I have now. A lot. Last but not least, here's the doggy sleep bench. Just kidding, <laughs> but it is a sitting bench that the dog do love to sleep on. Henry is passed out. I just put it at the end of the island and I use it to sit on and put on my shoes and change. It just makes things a lot easier. I just threw a little blanket on it. To make it a little bit more girly, a little pop of color. As a shorty, I hope you enjoyed my closet tour. I hope some of the brands I mentioned are helpful. I hope some of my tips and tricks are helpful and the essentials are helpful. Like if you don't have a step ladder or a stepping stool or if you don't have pliers or you don't have a sewing kit, those are things that just make being so petite a lot easier. And speaking of making things easier, being organized for me really helps. Like it helps me save time. I know where everything is. So if you guys are interested in any of the organizational things from my line with iDesign, I'm gonna put a link down below today. I'll link to the bins, the drawer organizers, and the expandable drawer dividers. So all of the links will be down below if you wanna check out anything you saw today. I hope you guys enjoyed the tour of my closet. It is doggy nap time, so I gotta go because all these dogs are getting really tired. And if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Click subscribe, it's free, and ring the bell to receive notifications every time I post a new video. I'm gonna be posting a bunch of different types of videos this year. And if you'd like to watch any other videos, you can click up here or up here. I'm gonna give you some ASMR of Henry breathing. Good job, Henry, you're an ASMR star. Okay, now it's Honey Bun's turn. <laughs>